Hey guys, it's Becky Bamboo. Today is Tuesday, May 17th, 2011. I just got back from the gym and I'm so fucking pissed off. I'm so pissed off. Um, I've been sitting here in my house the last two days, like being a total bum. And so I finally today was like, I have to go to the gym. I have to make myself work out. I just didn't, like yesterday, I didn't feel like doing anything. Today I sat here watched a movie and I'm just like, I am so lazy. So I made myself get my gym clothes on, went to the gym and I rode my bike to the gym. Okay. So it's almost two miles to the gym on my bike. So I thought, okay, this is going to be a good day. I'm going to go and I'm going to lift weights when I get there and then I'm going to run some and then I'm going to ride home. Yeah. So it starts off fine. I get on my bike, I get to the gym, I get on the weights. I am on the last weight machine. My brand new earbuds get caught on the machine and fucking rips the right earbud in two. Rips it the wire in two. Rips it. Are you kidding me? I just got these things. They were $70. I just got them. Are you kidding? So, uh, needless to say, they're now junk. Just junk. So I was really pissed. And I went and got on the treadmill and I started running and I ran about a half a mile. And I was just like so irritated still about the about the earbuds. And I wasn't feeling very comfortable. And I think that I was just really irritated. So I was like, fine. I'm just going to get on the elliptical. I'm going to do something different. So I did the elliptical for a while and that annoyed me too. So I finally just said, forget it. And I rode my bike back home and I just got home. So I had a crappy workout and now I'm without earbuds yet again. It's so irritating. I spent like, you know, I agonized over buying those expensive ones because I, I just thought like if they go out, I'm going to be so mad that I spent that much money on them. And here it is not like two months later and now they're junk. So, I don't know what the moral of the story is. I don't know if it's to buy expensive ones or to just buy the cheapies. This time, I'm buying cheap ones. They're not going to talk me into paying $70 for earphones again. Um, my first set, I liked a lot better than these. Um, and I had nothing but fits with them at the 5K. I could not keep them in my ear because my ears got so wet. And maybe my other earbuds wouldn't have done any better. But these these were definitely not all that that they tried to tell me that they were so um I think part of the issue for me is I have an ear piercing I don't know if you can see it down inside my ear here and so they never really could get a good seal in this ear and I think that was a problem from the get-go so not gonna buy those this time nobody's talking me into anything that I don't want to get which I think is what happened last time. The salespeople really talked me into buying like the fitness quality earbuds and I'm not doing that again. I'm gonna buy what I wanna buy. But my husband's gonna be so pissed at me. He's just, I, I just texted him, uh, I broke my earbuds and I'm sure he, he hasn't responded and I'm sure he's so irritated. But there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, I had them on, I was wearing them, I you know, didn't think anything about it, got caught in the machine and ripped into and it barely tugged that's the thing that makes me so mad is it barely tugged it at all and I was like well these are a piece of crap these are a total piece of crap because I've like my original pair of earbuds I have like got them hooked on about everything and they never ever did anything like that um you know I caught them on the weight machines too and they never ripped they never tore they never pulled they just Nothing. So I have no idea, but I'm really irritated about it. So um, I guess the good news is, is I ended up riding about four miles on my bike and I ran a half a mile and I did a mile on the elliptical. So I guess I did a decent workout and I lifted weights. So I did a decent workout. It wasn't a very long one, but whatever. Um, I was just really torn as to what exactly I wanted to do today. My girlfriend was supposed to go to the gym with me today and she backed out. So that kind of made me like not want to go. And then once I finally made myself go, I was like, you know, I really want to bike. So maybe I'll just bike there and then make myself do weights. See, I haven't done weights in a couple of weeks. So I kind of was missing that and feeling like I needed to do some weightlifting. Um, so that forced me to go to the gym and 
it's nice enough I could have run outside today and I probably would have been better off doing that but um, it's a lot easier just to do it all in one place so that's what I did uh, tomorrow's another day right tomorrow will be a better day I hope this week has been totally crappy finding out yesterday that I'm not necessarily a shoe in for this job and you know I I'm trying to stay positive and think if it's meant to be it's gonna be but then I also think if it's not if I don't get it then what am I gonna do because I have no other prospects whatsoever my freaking references are crap and they won't return my call or my emails um, this other residency program I was kind of looking into it won't return my calls or my emails so I'm basically kind of screwed in the anus more or less um, so it's back to the drawing board I have family coming this weekend so I will be doing some housework and stuff and laundry and whatever but I've kind of been putting that off because I just quite frankly don't feel like messing with it I could go to the grocery store, but I don't feel like messing with that either. I'm just really unmotivated this week. I need somebody to like light a fire under me because I don't know. I, there was there's some kind of letdown I'm I'm in right now with um, completing my 5K mission. It's like that was my mission and my focus for so long that um, now I'm just kind of like, okay, I did it, I completed it, and now I'm kind of just like, yeah, what do I do now? Um, I do have a 6k coming up so I know you know I'm still gonna run and stuff and I would run anyway because it's, I like doing it but I guess I, I need something else in between there to push me to motivate me to keep me doing moving forward I guess um, and really I think that the biggest thing is is I'm just really bummed about this job situation like I'm so ready to have something to do and having like you know five days a week at home by yourself with nothing to do it's like nuts last week I kept myself really busy we had really nice weather I did my garden and my flowers and I was just busy all week long this week it's the complete opposite I mean it's nice enough to be outside but it's cooler so I don't really want to be outside and there's just nothing to do like I've got my garden all set up and it's going doing its thing I mean I just really have nothing else to do and without a job I have no money to do anything either so I'm just, I'm just so tired of it. I, and I told my husband last night, I'm like, I'm just, I'm so tired of everything. I'm just, I re I'm ready for something new to come along. He brought me home flowers yesterday because he's like, I know you're having a hard day and I know things, you know, are not going the way you want them to. And I just want you to know it's all going to be okay. But, and I, and I adore him for that. But then I always think oh, we're spending money on stuff we shouldn't spend money on and, the stresses of unemployment. I'm, I know a lot of you understand too. So, um, yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to share about my earbuds because I'm still just I'm so mad about that. Because now I have to figure out a way to pay to get new ones because I can't not have earbuds. That's like one of the major things that I use. I use them almost every day of the week, so I have to have them. I just don't know if I should get new athletic ones or buy cheap ones or I really don't know but it irritates me so anyway that's what's going on today I hadn't done a video so I figured I'd check in and um, try to do one and that's it nothing else is exciting just my shitty life right now I just want it to get better you guys I want everything to go positive for a while instead of always having this one negative thing dragging me down that I always am fighting against. It seems like my whole life there's always one thing I'm having to fight against. And I just, it would be nice if I could have just a few months a stretch of like things would just go well for me in every aspect. But that's life, right? I guess we don't get that. So um, I'll keep wishing for it anyway. Well, I hope you all are doing well and having a good week and I'll check in soon. Mwah. Bye.